Welcome to the fifth tutorial in our Photoshop course. In this part we'll go over designing the footer and we'll also actually finish designing the template completely. So first thing to do is create a large rectangle using the rectangle outline. Fill this in with a grey colour. And go into blending options. First, add a one pixel white line to the top. Then add a three pixel stroke with a darker gray in the background. Next thing to do, another rectangle, create a thin strip going just above the rectangle you just created on a new layer blending options remove the fill and apply apply apparent overlay Might want to reduce the height slightly. Now that's about right. Next thing, add a dark overlay bar to the bottom, just like we did on the featured area. So a new layer and fill this in with black. Go into blending options and reduce the opacity 10%. Here we can write website designed by text. Reduce the size, change the aerial. And we're back to the top link. Remember to use the guides, so stay within the 1000 pixels. Save our progress so far. Next thing we're going to do is split this area into four quarters. So we're going to create a divider line for each quarter. So we'll create a new layer, just like we did on the navigation, create a single pixel black line using the pencil tool, leave roughly 15 pixels on the top and the bottom, do the same with white, do the same, I'm going to duplicate the layer, move one pixel to the right. Fill in with color white. Then press Ctrl and E to merge the layers. Set this layer to overlay and reduce the opacity. Might want to remove the guides in order to see what it looks like. That should be fine. So show the guides again and duplicate this and reposition on the other quarter guidelines. Move the guides to make sure we've done it correctly. And that looks pretty much perfect. Show the guides again just to make things a little bit easier. And first we're going to do the content for the first column here. So first thing to do is type the title. Let's see quick lengths. Set the size to 18. Sharp. Make sure to remove the underline. 
this uh, dark color. Just like before, also add a one pixel white drop shadow. You can go ahead and may as well write the same using the same layer, write the tiles for the other columns as well. So for the second one, let's say, I don't know, um, first one about us, then latest comments, and I finally find us simple map image. See for progress so far. So for the content for the first one, we're going to just just add a list of links, so let's just mix them up. Change the font size. Change the color slightly. Add an underline like we've done with the rest of the links. position for the about us let's just copy a simple paragraph of text For our latest comments, let's do a list of links with a slight difference. Let's say let's make the post with thumbnails a link and admin a link. Just copy that. Just leave it like that for now. You might want to increase the line spacing, however. Maybe even more so than that. Do the same on the quick links here. Finally, for the find us, let's just add a simple image. So I think I've already got one. Copy that and paste it into our find us area. Next, add a three pixel white stroke. And then add a simple drop shadow. And that should be it. That's our simple footer right there. Let's take off the guys just to see it. Again, you can see the spacing isn't quite exact, but I'll go over that in the next tutorial. And save that looks like it's us done. Maybe one last thing to add is go to the very top layer on your template, add a new layer, and use the rounded the rectangle outline tool, select this area here. We're gonna make the content seemingly fade away, so all we're gonna do is start white and fade to the background color here at the bottom. So First fill this in. Then go into blending options. 
Remove the fell. Gradient. So bottom is this color. Top is going to be white. Obviously, this is overlapping and done something wrong. Ah, yes, it should be white at the top. It should be the same color except opacity zero. If it's overlapping these elements, just move it down so it's just on top of the background there, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. But that's our template. Pretty clean template. Has some features that are quite nice though. In the next tutorial, just finishing off, I'll go over some of the spacing, general tips basically for you know how to space your template properly, how to be consistent, I mean adding paddings, little tips like that. So check back for that tutorial, but for now that's it. Visit us at screencasttutorials.com if you want to download any of the Photoshop files and the written instructions. But thank you for watching. Thank you.